indeed we are, but things just erupted into aggression. Tino lost his rag completely and chased a whole bunch of females around and pinned one of them down and was going crazy for a second and now he's gone back and lay down. You can actually see he's still irritated by watch his tail. His tail's moving quite a bit and he's not very impressed at all and I don't know what triggered it. They were all lying down and there was cubs were feeding and the lionesses were all fast asleep and he just decided to take his aggression out on one of the lionesses and not on the cubs and everybody scattered all over the place and you can see those are the eyes of a rather upset male what's wrong boy are you full now and that's why you're grumpy i don't think his time in terms of being awake is much longer now and he's going to fall asleep fairly shortly so tammy you're wondering when the lions will have to eat again well tammy to it's it's a sort of dependent thing it's almost like how long is a piece of string lions in terms of when they will have to eat again they'll have to eat probably in about i would say you know if they really became desperate would be over a week close to two weeks until they would be f absolutely famished and would need to feed again in terms of when would they potentially hunt again well if a buffalo walked past here right now you might find that they would hunt it and try and kill it so there's such opportunistic animals that anytime there's a, car a potential food item that comes past they'll often then try and take advantage of that particularly large items like buffalo because buffalo is so scarce around here at the moment they would then use that as a way of trying to kind of get food but theoretically and and the kind of rough average is every sort of three to four days is what we see lions feeding at um, and that's generally just factoring in their their sort of hunting capability and their success rates as well as the fact that they then start to get quite hungry and become far more active in their hunting after two three days um, you must remember that if it goes to a period of close to two weeks they are going to have lost huge amounts of um, condition and they're going to be in a situation where they're not going to be very very healthy animals and hunting is going to get harder and harder the longer they go without food the harder it becomes for these guys to actually feed themselves and so that's why they try and hunt as quick as possible when they start to get thin and so this is the reason why i was so excited that the nkuma priders had such a good feed because they were starting to look quite famished the cubs were looking quite thin and this meal is really going to just sort of help them get back to their normal selves which is big powerful animals that they are but it seems like all is calming down now cubs are starting to feed and he's tinio is now at least closing his eyes and looks like he's going to have a little nap as well so i think we'll all be okay it was just a minor hiccup and this is what does happen is just the male does assert his dominance sometimes over the females you'll find he'll kind of come in and just try and make sure that everybody knows that he is the boss of what's going on here but interesting that he left the cubs alone I, i'm pretty sure it was one of the cubs that irritated him but so robert you saying did the cubs help with the kill or was it just the big male well robert uh, the big male i think had nothing to do with this i think he only arrived after the fact he was probably here when he heard them feeding not actually present when it was killed i think he only arrived much later if you look at the size of the bellies of the females in relation to the male their bellies are massive i think they had a good feed before he found them i think he only found them subsequently to them killing it the cubs themselves whether they helped in the hunt doubt it things like a zebra are fast they're very quick these cubs are still too young too small to be able to be participating in a hunt like that last year we know that the females did show these cubs how to kill a buffalo and they had them on a buffalo and tried to kind of move around and, and use and then the buffalo was still alive and the cubs were learning how to grab it but in a situation like this particularly if the pride is hungry and they haven't fed very well then you'll find that they don't really allow the cubs to do too much because they don't want to risk losing that animal they need to be able to kill it and feed as much as possible last year the reason why they were were able to do that with the buffalo is that there was just an absolute sort of feast when it came to buffalo and so all of them were able to feed and, and they could take their time and they could use it and the buffalo were so weak that they weren't going anywhere once they were down on the ground and, and that's why it was a good opportunity to teach them these cubs are still too young now for hunting and i would reckon they'll only really be participating in the hunts in probably another year's time um, they're learning all the time and they're following the lionesses and they'll watch and it was quite interesting when we were following their tracks to the point where we found them is that you could see the females were cutting on and off the road and they were going back and forth 
and the cubs it looked like they lay down in one place and the females then did the hunting and then the cubs were called and brought back to the, de the kill itself where they could then start feeding. But very, very cool to see. Now, I believe we've had luck with lions, but Ali is on the search for one of the most endangered predators, and it was actually a feature of our Animal Rights Awareness Week yesterday, so hopefully she'll have some luck.